Okay, so just a quick little disclaimer for the beginning of this video. The whole intro, one of my eyelashes is hanging off, as you can see here. I didn't notice it until I went back and edited the video, so I will show a quick clip here of what it actually looked like when my eyelashes were on properly, and it looked a lot better. I just wanted to include that little disclaimer because I really didn't even notice. It's Aoife and welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this makeup look here. I have no idea what I'm going to call it yet, but it's just basically using lots of gold and this lip colour here, which is from Kylie Cosmetics. So it's the Metal Matte Lipstick in the shade Lord. This is the birthday collection one. So when I got this, I just basically thought of this whole look and based it around this lipstick. I also, when I was trying to get the birthday collection, I also wanted to pick up the cream eyeshadow that she had. Um, but unfortunately, I was too late and it sold out. So what I, I kind of improvised and instead I went looking for another gold cream eyeshadow because I was gonna get the gold one. And I found this one from Kiko, which was actually on sale as well. It's called their Cream Crush, and I got it in the shade number 9, which is gold. And it is just absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with it, and I have it on the lid. It's way, way, way cheaper, and I obviously I haven't tried the Kylie uh, Jenner one, so I'm not sure how it compares. But I mean, I love this one, and for the price, you can't go wrong. So that's what I used on my lid. I don't know if you can see it yet. But yeah, I just improvised. I really did want the cream eyeshadow, so when I couldn't get it, I went looking for another one because I was planning this whole look around the lipstick and the cream eyeshadow. So I just went and picked up this one and I'm obsessed with it, so yeah. Okay, so that's all I have to say. I really, really hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial, and if you do, then please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if there's anything you wanna see or if you have any suggestions or absolutely anything. And always, and as always, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in my next video. Okay, so to begin this look, I'm taking the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm gonna be taking Raw Sienna. I'm going to be taking this on a big blending brush and I'm just going to be applying this into my crease and blending it upwards and outwards as well. I've already applied my base and set my eyes with some concealer and powder so the eyeshadows blend easier. Next I'm taking Railgar, which is like a burnt ready kind of orange shade and I'm taking this on a flatter blending brush and just focusing this in the crease. I'm not blending this up at all. With Raw Sienna, we, like, I went a bit mad with it and blended it up and out but with this colour I'm just focusing it more on the crease because it's quite warm. Then I'm going back in with the blending brush we started out with and just blending that out so there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to be taking Burnt Orange and I'm going to be taking this on a blending brush and just applying it in the crease as well just to tone down the colour Real Gar a bit because it is quite intense and I just wanted there to be a nice gradient between Raw Sienna and Real Gar so Burnt Orange is in the middle of the two. Then I'm taking Cypress Umber, which is just a dark matte brown, and I'm going to start to kind of cut my crease. So if you want like a more detailed um, tutorial on how to do this, if you check out my tutorial that I did, I think two videos ago, it is a cut crease using this palette and this method. So I'm just kind of going through it quickly here because I did show you how to do it in that last video, but I will have that link down below. Then I'm taking a little dense blending brush and blending out that brown line so it's more softer. I'm using Real Gar to blend out that dark matte brown on this little blending brush. Then I'm taking a bigger blending brush and just blending everything out. Okay, so next I'm taking this Kiko Cream Crush uh, Cream Eyeshadow and I have it in the gold shade. I will have the 
actual shade number linked down below. But this is the dupe for the Kylie Jenner cream shadow. Well, this is my version of it because I couldn't get the Kylie Jenner one. So I looked online and got this one instead and it was so affordable. So I'm just going to be applying this all over the lid. And it really, the gold is really, really brought out and emphasized because of the way we cut the crease with the dark brown. It just really pops on the lid and I am absolutely obsessed with it. So that's the reason why I wanted to kind of cut the crease just to really make that gold on the lid pop. So with this shadow as well, we're just cleaning up the crease a bit. So if you were a bit messy while you were cutting your crease, it doesn't matter because we're cleaning it up with this cream eyeshadow. It almost works just as a eraser. It just really cleans up the edges and makes it nice and sharp. Then I'm taking this Glam Crystals. Um, it's just a glitter eyeliner from Collection in gold. And I'm just lightly applying a tiny bit of this over. You'll see I'll dab it in with my finger just to make the gold eyeshadow more glittery and add a bit more glitter. So here I'm just dabbing it in and blending it all in. Next I'm going to do a winged liner. I had to do it off camera because I was just not having a good day with my winged liner at all. And then I'm going to apply mascara and apply the eyelashes in the Style Serena. Then I'm just taking every single brush I use basically on my top. So the Big Bunny brush, the more dense one, for the three colours, Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange and Real Gar. And just applying that on my lower lash line. I'm not taking any extra product. I'm just using whatever is left over on the brushes. Then I'm taking this Kiko eyeliner in a gold shade as well. And I'm just going to be applying this into my waterline. Then I'm just coating my bottom lashes in some mascara. Next I'm taking the cream eyeshadow again and I'm just applying this in the inner corner of my eye to really highlight in there. Then I'm going to be taking these two shades from palette which are called Vermeer and Primavera and I'm going to be applying those over top the gold um, cream eyeshadow in the inner corner just to highlight there even more. Uh, Vermeer is kind of a light shimmery pink colour and Primavera is more of a gold shade. So I'm just mixing the two of them and applying those in the inner corner and also on my brow bone. Next I'm just taking that eyeliner and I'm just going to be dragging it in in the inner corner to create a cat eye and kind of elongate the shape of my eyes. Then I'm taking these two shades from the Anastasia Bravery Hills contour kit as always and I'm just going to start to contour my face. Next I'm taking this Vivid Baked Bronzer from Makeup Revolution and I'm just going to be applying this on my face. I wanted a kind of glowy bronzer just to kind of go with the whole golden effect of this look so that's why I chose this one. I'm taking the Mary Luminizer highlighter and I'm going to start to highlight the tops of my cheekbones. I'll also apply a bit on my forehead as well. I want it to be really glowy for this look just to match the gold kind of on the lid and the whole kind of golden effect. I'm also going to highlight the center and the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow. Then I'm taking the Kylie Jenner liquid lipstick, well metal li liquid lipstick in the shade Lord. And then once you've applied that then this look is complete. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Hi guys, it's Eva. Welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this everyday makeup look. So it's kind of like a back to school or college makeup look.